Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeanette. If you're new here, it is amazing to have you. If you're not new here and you're always checking out the weekly hauls, I've been a little bit slow on uploading. It's been a crazy and chaotic past two weeks. I feel like I'm gonna be doing a little bit of oversharing in this video just to catch you guys up on everything that's been happening. Not too much oversharing, just vacation recap. Uh, we decided to change things a little bit with our Disney trip. Um, oh my gosh, we've been sick, but I'll go over all of that when we get back to my house. I'm prepping for summer. So so I found a lot of cool summer body washes and beauty and skincare and all that good stuff. So I'll show you that when I get home. I also found a couple of pieces that I want to take or pack for our Disney vacation. And then I'm going to run into Target now. We're going to do a quick shop through and a quick haul. Uh, I want to see what they have that's new. I want to see if they have any new travel essentials that I can start stocking up on because we're leaving in a little bit less than three months, but I usually start now with all the packing. All right, so let's go in there, let's shop and let's grab a few things. All right, guys, let's do it. Going in. Love those double doors. It should be pretty empty right now. It's super early in the morning, um, which is when I like to come here because, you know, less crowds. So let's grab our cart. Oh, well, you know, obviously here at uh, this Target, they have a Starbucks, so I have to grab a coffee. And I just noticed these new tumblers. Um, they are for Pride Month, which is super cool. Looks very retro. I love that one there. Um, almost looks like you decorated your tumbler with stickers. This is a collaboration with Tim Singleton and Starbucks. They also have this one here, which is a cool retro print. That one has more of a silver tone. So many adorable finds in the girls section. Fourth of July is in full effect. Look at these adorable little tankinis. Then you have these little one pieces here. That's super cute. Has a little cut out there, which I'm not a fan of. Even have one here with the little unicorns in the red, white, and blue. Then they have tons of cute little dresses. Look at this little romper here. I'm not sure if this extra small would fit Penelope, but that would be, oh, it has a little cutout on the sides, which I'm not a fan of, but that is a very cute design, maybe for an adult. The dress I did pick up for Penelope for 4th of July, I did also get the matching um, swim shorts for Max. Then they have all sorts of little tutu dresses. This one is uh, $20. I think it's a little bit pricey for a tutu dress, but uh, that's very cute. And then they have all sorts of accessories. They have the little hair clips. They have hair bows. Those are by Jojo Siwa. They have a cute little purse here with the red, white, and blue. And then I would get this for Penny if we didn't already get the Bomb Pop romper from Old Navy, but this one is very cute as well. They have it and they have 30% off. I've been looking for this. This is the new Joanna Gaines book, Magnolia Table, that was just released. Has tons of um, recipes. So I will pick up a version of this. I wanna see what the 30% uh, comes out to so I can compare it with the Amazon price, but I think this is gonna be the better price. Sun Squad in full effect. They have tons of outdoor activities. Uh, this is kind of like a cornhole that's a beanbag toss. They have all sorts of paddle rackets and these little mesh rackets. They have little golf sets. I know that uh, my kids have a little tykes version of this, but this is a great alternative. They have a lawn dart set that retails for $15. And remember, everything has 20% uh, off right now, so that's pretty cool. <gasps> Ooh, the giant parachute game. This is awesome. We actually have a parachute um, from um, Hearth and Hand. They have a Sun Squad Crow case set. This one comes with six mallets, six balls, two stakes, nine wire wickets, and a carry bag. $30 is a retail on that, and it's on sale for $24. Oh, these are cool pool noodles. That's something different. There is a little, seems to be like a trigger here, and I think it'll spit out water from there. Um, they have a few designs. They have the unicorn, they have the shark, and then they have a dinosaur. And these structure toes are really, really cool, especially for your car. Um, these are actually great to put groceries in, and then uh, to you know pack them in your trunk these are by sun squad they retail for ten dollars and if they have a 20 percent off i might actually grab one of these because these are great to have oh my gosh punky color i remember this from when i was a kid I used to bleach the hair get some pink in there get some green in there it used to come in a jar um now it comes in these fancy boxes how cool um so i guess this is the color off so this will remove any funky color that you want to get off and then here you have the all-in-one hair color toolkit um not sure where the colors are but it seems like these are all accessories that can go with it seems pretty cool to me i remember when i was a kid and i used to do this there's Manic Panic and Punky Color. Super remember this, uh, giving me flashbacks. $17.99, $3.99 for the applicator thing, $14.99 for the color off. All seems pretty good. Okay, I'm intrigued. Slug cream, slug boost hydrating mist. Okay, slugging is the long standing dermatologist's beloved practice of applying an occlusive layer over the skin to prevent water loss. Less water loss means more hydration, and more hydration means plump, juicy, healthy skin, like our ultimate skin icon, the slug. So, 
Are they just using that as kind of like a gimmick? Is there actual weird stuff in here? I'm not really sure because I know some people were using snail stuff at one point. Woohoo, this is my section. This year I want to do the um, self tanner, especially on the legs to cover all those weird lines and bumps and veins. Um, I've heard about Bondi Sands. I hear that it's really, really good stuff. Um, they have different colors. So they have dark, ultra dark, they have light medium. Um, this is the tanning foam. I've been using the spray and the color is giving me so so it's probably my fault because I got light um, but I would like to get something that does not transfer onto my sheets so I'm very particular the one I got previously um, is like this it's like a clear mist not a mousse so I don't know maybe the mousse is better I don't know we'll have to try it um so Jurgens does make um, one as well um, you have deep here and then you have medium this one it says no weight tropical tan Oh man, should I get one of these? I've been craving um, shaved ice. I think that this would be a hit for the summertime. Uh, they're on sale for $24.99 from $29.99. Um, and then they have all the different syrups that you can use. So they have one called Shark Punch. They have one here called uh, Unicorn Dust, which seems to be watermelon and strawberry. Then they also have candy sugar. There's only two left. There's a blue raspberry and then a cotton candy sugar. Hi friends, okay, we are back at my place. The weather is absolutely beautiful, so I figured we'd um, shoot the haul outside because I've been waiting for warm weather and it's finally here. I do have a hodgepodge haul, as I like to call it. I have tons of beauty items that I have stocked up on for the spring summer season. So before I jump into it, I haven't uploaded, oh my gosh, I wanna say it's close to two weeks. First, we got sick again. It's like the third time in three months that we get super, super sick. It's like a virus that made its way through the household and it was really, really bad, like 104 fever. I couldn't get out of bed. My throat was so inflamed and sore. I thought it was for sure a strep throat and it was not. I did the strep test, we did the COVID test, we did the flu test and everything came back negative. So um, unfortunately, I think it was the adenovirus, which was what my kids had the week prior. And then we also had a little bit of a family emergency where one of my relatives got sick and they were in the hospital and of course it's their story to tell so I'm not going to share all the details with you as many of you know well if you're a repeat viewer you know we are taking a big trip to Orlando Florida to Disney World um, this August for a milestone birthday that I am celebrating and we decided to do an extension portion to our trip so we were going to get there and we were going to stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge for about I think it's a total of seven days and since we were going to leave on a Monday and I'm off on the weekends I decided to extend it and us leave on the Friday so a lot of our relatives it's kind of going to be a big family trip are going to meet us um, in Disney World on the Monday but we are going to go there in advance myself the kids and my husband will get there on Friday and we will have Friday Saturday and Sunday to just hang out chill out at the resort enjoy the pool go to Disney Springs and enjoy a different kind of resort I'm super excited I will bring you guys along I will try to vlog and shoot as much as possible without interfering too much on the family time. But um, I would like to go live also on one of the days. We are gonna be there for an extended amount of time. So I think that I should be able to finagle a, a time or day that I actually go live maybe at Disney Springs. We can do a little bit of shopping together at World of Disney. So you guys let me know what you prefer. If you prefer I go live in one of the parks for a little bit or um, for some shopping. I know that a lot of what I do here is shopping and hauling, so I figured that most of you maybe want to come shopping along at Disney Springs and just check out some of the shops and some cool Disney merchandise. Uh, or if you prefer the theme park thing, I don't mind maybe at Magic Kingdom when we're at the Halloween event, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween, I can, you know, click my YouTube live on and bring you guys along for maybe the parade or the show or just some of the rides. So you guys let me know, comment below, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that and I will definitely coordinate to make that happen. And then one more thing, since I am taking a big trip to Orlando, I love the packing journey. I literally start about three months out before our vacation, especially if it's a Disney vacation. So I will do pack with me videos. A few of you commented and asked if I was going to do shop with me for vacation or pack with me videos. And yes, I absolutely will. Those are so much fun for me to do. And I love to do the checklist with you guys because maybe it'll give you guys some ideas for your next trips. I am going to start with like the fragrance and beauty stuff just to 
get through it. Um, so a lot of you guys know that I love the Sol de Janeiro brand. I started out with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and then elevated to the hair stuff and the shampoo, conditioner, and the body sprays. These are the new body sprays that they released for summer 2023. They are limited. I believe that they did sell out on their main website, but I did purchase these on Sephora.com and Sephora seems to still have them in stock. This one is Do Not Disturb. Uh, this one is very clean, like ocean air, almost like a fresh linen type of smell. Uh, when in Rio, this one is actually my favorite of the three. It smells very tropical and it just reminds me of like suntan lotion and tropics and like a mango daiquiri. And then the third one is bikini season, which I actually like a lot. This one is great for like after the shower. If you want like just like a tropical but fruity scent, this is going to be your go-to. So a lot of beauty people last year, last summer in particular, were saying um, if you love Sol de Janeiro's Brazilian Bum Bum Cream to definitely try out Trader Joe's Brazil Nut. Uh, there's the body wash, there's the body butter, and then of course I did get the body scrub. But these are amazing. They do smell very close to the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which is very, very expensive if you buy it from Sol de Janeiro or Sephora. However, this dupe option here smells very close to it, and each item only retails for $5.99. What a steal! Of course, I could not wait to try this um, body butter out. I want to show you how thick it is. I love it because I hate when cream or lotions are super super runny this one is like super thick like look at that it's so 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 thick you literally have to scoop it and the scent is amazing I'm actually gonna apply some now because I already scooped some out and I don't want to waste a drop of it but guys the smell I wish there was smell-o-vision so you can see how amazing the scent is go to Trader Joe's stock up I'm telling you you will use this for the summertime my husband was like, what is that smell? What is that smell? And I, I wear $80 perfume sometimes and he doesn't compliment my smell. I put this $5.99 lotion on and he's like, wow, what's that scent? So highly recommend it for $5.99. Again, you just can't go wrong. All right, back to the Sol de Janeiro. I know I like my dupes, but the real deal stuff, I will still splurge on it because this stuff is amazing. So as I mentioned, Tan Lines, which was my favorite uh, body spray that they released last year, 2022. Um, it was so popular, they brought it back as Rio Radiance as the body spray. And then they released a cream that smells exactly like the spray called Rio Radiance Cream. All right, a couple more body washes because I couldn't help myself. I love all the summer scents and Philosophy is one of my favorite body wash and lotion brands. Hula Girl smells amazing. Amazing. I love this stuff. This is one of my favorite scents to get for uh, summer. And then Senorita Margarita. If you love everything lime, if you love margarita smell, this is going to be for you. These are both sublime. I absolutely love them. This will definitely take me through the summer months. Can't wait to use them. You guys know I love the tree hut stuff. I had to get more of the pineapple. Uh, this is the foaming gel wash. And then this one here, look how beautiful. This one is called Tropic Glow and it smells really, really beautiful. And look at the kicker on it. It has shimmer in the body wash. Now the shimmer is not going to last on your skin. It's probably just going to rinse right off. But what fun, right? When you're taking a shower to have all the little glimmer and shimmer, right? All the sun stuff. We need sun protection. These I found at the Ulta, like little small travel section. Well, it's not really a travel section. They just have like the minis. I guess they call it the minis. Um, this is the Kula brand and this is an SPF 30. It is a classic sunscreen spray. I bought two of these and I bought two more because I actually want to pack these for the trip. And and these sell out very quickly. Like I'll go back and they're sold out, they restock and then they sell out. So I just picked up two more. These are the Pina Colada scent. That's what the front of the can looks like here. This is amazing. This is a spray that I found at Ulta Beauty. This is by the brand San Tropez. They make tons of self tanner. Um, they make the mousses, the sprays, they make lotions, they make all sorts of stuff for the sun. Um, this is a self tan face mist. I'm telling you, if you just want like a sun kiss like glow, instantaneously you just spray the stuff on and it really really works here is a light self tanning oil mist this is by isle of paradise this i purchased on qvc.com it was a two pack i cracked one open and i started using it it did give me like a nice little glow on the legs um but i was hoping it would be a little bit darker maybe i should have went with the medium but this is nice because it's subtle so if i just want a little bit of subtle color this is going to be perfect and you could apply this anywhere on the body your arms your chest your back another qvc find Yes, I am an IT cosmetic girl. I use the foundation religiously like that is the foundation that I use sometimes I'll alternate it with Fenty uh, but I love it because it has color correcting stuff it has just 
you know ingredients that are good for your skin um, it's also CC plus and this also has SPF which is super important especially for the summer when you're under that blazing Sun fantastic deal I got this and it came along with the brush this is the um, heavenly Lux uh, foundation brush which applies it very very nicely I love the lug brand I don't know if you guys know this it is a bag brand well they started out as a bag brand and now they're actually branching out and doing clothing right crazy I love their travel bags I think they do such great um, you know like compact and organizational ideas it says lug right here in that little metal hardware um, so this is a travel bag and the reason why I love this travel bag and it's different from anything you would find on Amazon or Target is that not only is it a pretty feminine color when you open it it has a little hanger here this little hanger detail how cool is that so when you're at the hotel you can actually hang this uh, in your closet area and you can pretty much work out of the bag, right? I'm probably gonna use this for toiletries, but you can use this for underwear, you can use it for socks and just hang it upright. If you, Especially if you don't like to put stuff in the drawers. Some people are weird with like germs and using the actual drawers, concerned that the, it wasn't cleaned prior. Um, this is a great piece. So another item by Lug, this is actually part of their travel collection. It is called the Trolley. This is the Trolley Mini. I actually have two more of these but I have the bigger size one I like the smaller ones for traveling and this I use for a combination of things I put my stuff in here like contact lenses brushes and then I also put the kids stuff in here so if the kids need special medication like Max's allergy medication toothbrushes all that good stuff I can fit q-tips and cotton you know cotton balls here on the side depending on what you need one more item by lug that I regret not getting two of these are so cool I hope they're not sold out because I actually want to get um, a couple more into different colors um, this is just like a little travel case right look how cool that is look at the liner how cool is that so pretty um, I love the front because it actually looks a little bit like a face but this is a functional pocket so you're gonna be able to undo the snaps and fit you know a ton of stuff here I, I can think of a bunch of stuff that I can fit in that front pocket one more lug item I loved this uh, lime neon green so so much that I decided to get the purse uh, they had a few purses actually in this color and I thought this size would be perfect especially traveling to Orlando this will be a great bag to pack I love that the zipper kind of goes down all the way but it has this little guard here so you don't lose stuff out of the side um, this style in particular is called the Ranger bag r-a-n-g-e-r -E um, and I love it because it has a little carry strap here on the inside I have a long purse strap which is generous right like you could sling this you could use it as a crossbody um, um, you could even tie it tight if you just want to use it as just like a shoulder bag um, and I love the little carry handle here bonus it does have a pocket on the back so you can fit all your little you know secure things that you want back here and then it has tons of storage and pockets on the inside one more item by lug I actually purchased two of these because I thought these would be great for organizational storage um, I want to keep one of these in my car I already used one of these when we went to visit my grandparents because I had groceries and all that so it collapses flat just like this you could even pack this in a suitcase which I am gonna do because I have to do laundry actually while we're in Orlando and the last time we were there I was like oh my god I have nothing to carry the laundry in this is perfect I can pack it and I could use it for tons of stuff especially the laundry it's gonna be a small load it opens up to this you can fit tons of stuff in here it has this little panel so you pop it on the bottom to give it the structure so it's not gonna collapse and I love this color. This color might be sold out, but they had tons of other colors and they had a hot pink one, which I actually might get. I do want to get a couple more. And it even has a little storage thing here, like a little plastic if you need to put something in here. But these are amazing. What a great idea. This would even work for closet storage. Honestly, guys, you can use this for so many things. All right, one more fanny pack travel item that I had to get. This is not by Lug, although it kind of does look a little bit like the Lug brand. It's a newer brand. Yeah, I-H-K-W-I-P. That's the name of the brand. Not sure what that stands for. It has a back pocket here and it's like velvety soft here. So you can keep your sunglasses here without scratching them. You can keep your cell phone back there. And then the inside has some card storage here. And then um, there's a little clip here for your keys, your key fob or anything that you need to clip on there. Keep it secure. It works perfect. You just sling it like this, right? And you're good to go. Easy access, especially at the theme parks. You just want to open this up, get your wallet out or for security, right? It's nice to just have everything right up front. So you're you know watching everything and everything is kind of like in your possession and not kind of like in the back 
All right, we made it to the Target stuff. Finally, finally, finally. Sun Squad had 20% off of everything, so of course I could not pass it up. I got my kids hooded towels. Glad that I looked at the age ranges because I was like, wait a minute, this one looks kind of small, but this one is really for only ages three to six. You can see right there. But then they did have a kid's version. There it is, ages three to nine. So it's gonna be perfect for Max. Um, so these are fantastic because they are like pullovers, like ponchos. Um, I love this for my kids, especially packing for Florida because they can just put this on, dry off, and then just wear it back to the hotel room. Two more Sun Squad items. These are little um, blasters, they're water blasters. I did purchase these last year, uh, but they got all gunky. So I got two of these water blasters. These actually have very, very good range. I did it, I caved and I bought the snow cone maker this is by the koji brand um i was wondering if they had different colors but i only saw the blue so i just stuck to this which is fine i've been like craving snow cones myself like the shaved ice um so i figured if i want some my kids will enjoy it um and it was on sale it was like 24 bucks for the machine so i figured this would be great for the summertime and of course i had to get one of the snow cone flavors so this one is also the koji brand and this one is the unicorn dust flavor it looks like strawberry and watermelon this is fancy stuff so I actually don't think I was supposed to pay for this in the regular checkout. I think I was supposed to pay this in the Ulta checkout because I was kind of confused, but whatever, it worked out. They rang me up for it. Um, this is SPF 50. It's by that brand Kopari. If you are on Instagram and you follow the beauty influencers, a lot of them have been posting this. It's like a serum that goes on and it's like sexy and you know shimmery, but it's supposed to be SPF. It's a little bit pricey. I think it was 25 or 29 or $30. I'm not sure. It just looks so pretty. And you know, the brand is very well reviewed. So I figured I'd try it. It's a sun shield body glow gel broad spectrum SPF 50. That's what it looks like there. Oh yeah, one more Sun Squad item. So this is the structured tote. They had them in those two colors. Again, everything was 20% off. I love the idea of this, especially for my car. This reminds me a little bit of the lug tote that I showed you, but a fraction of the price. <laughs> but you could tell the, the quality difference. This is a lot flimsier, but I thought this was great. Also for like my supermarket runs, if I'm just grabbing, you know, chips and bread and fruit and light stuff, I can throw them in here, put them in the shopping cart and then right into my trunk. I did pick up a couple of things for the kids uh just little basics because they're fully stocked with their summer clothing but there are a few like essentials that i feel like penny could use more of just like light colored shorts to go under her dresses um this one here these are by cat and jack and they have the little popsicles on there and these are just regular white shorts she has a lot of dresses that i bought her for spring summer but they for sure need shorts underneath so i figured i'd just get her a couple of um white shorts that she can put underneath those dresses max got a t-shirt because we couldn't leave him behind um we are fans of stranger things this one here says hellfire club it's the first time that i'm seeing this t-shirt in the boys section so of course i had to grab it for him in a size small it's white so he's going to be able to use it for summertime and we just love stranger things needed a couple of hygiene products for the kids they needed more toothpaste so i just got a crust cavity protection tube and then an encanto toothbrush from miss penelope because she loves encanto all right, friends, that is the entire haul. I hope that you enjoyed. I had a lot of good stuff here. I hope I was able to give you some summer ideas for some beauty and some SPF and some sun protection and just travel because that's kind of where my mind is at. I'm so excited for this trip in August. If you guys have trips coming up, I want to hear about it. Comment down below. Let me know where you're going. I know a few of you were going to Europe. I know somebody that was going on a Disney cruise. She might actually be on it as we speak. I can't wait to hear about that. Um, so yeah, let me know where you're going because I, I just love hearing about people's travels and I love coordinating my own trips. Um, so if you're into packing and summer and shopping and hauling and all that good stuff, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.